Hello, my name is Darren Mortensen. I am the owner of Cinema at Home. I am a certified CD audio video integrator and technician. Um, about four years ago, we purchased, uh, I purchased the Olaf at the Build-A-Bear. I had my three grandsons record their voices for their mother. And up until this year, it has been working. So I was over there visiting the other day and squeezed Olaf's foot and noticed that the voice box was not working. Um, I took it up to the local Build-A-Bear store we had it built. They told me at that time um, that it could be a battery. So they actually opened up Olaf and removed the voice recorder. And this is it. I was told this is an older model. And I did look at their newer version. And they do have a different version. Um, but this, like I said, this, is, this unit here is about four years old. And basically what happens is when you push the activation button here, there's a white, there's a red LED light inside the recorder that lights up and you can barely hear a click. Um, so it almost sounds like the recording has been erased. So what I have done um, is I loosened up all this tape that basically prevents you from accidentally re-recording over your voice box because let's open this up and I'll show you if you hit the second button that's hidden um, underneath this white cover that will erase your previously recorded sound and allow you to re-record so I'm just gonna pop this sucker back open I've already had this open up several times and and I did replace the batteries and I'll go over how to do that so basically, just use a small screwdriver and pop this off. All right, so here we got it popped off. So this is the activation button. You push that, and it is supposed to make the your recording go. As you see, it flashes the red. I'll be real quiet, see if you can hear the click. It's like a click, click. And it click clicks with the red light. So... Here is the secondary black button. It's a little bit difficult to see. That button you do not want to push as that will erase your recording and allow you to record over it. So if you have a recording of your grandchildren like I do, you don't want to erase that. So I was told, this is December 27th of 2021. I took this in about two and a half weeks ago to the Build-A-Bear. They told me at that time that, like I said, this was the older version. It would have to be sent into the bear store. Did not know there was a bear store. And they told me that the bear store has been closed due to COVID for over a year. And it's closed indefinitely. They don't know when it's going to open. All right. So let's show you the parts. So I tried, like I said, I'm a technician. Um, so I tried to make some repairs on my own, basically by replacing the batteries. So this here is the microphone. That's what you speak into that records the voice. This is the recording activation button, which you do not want to press unless you want to record over your existing message. And this is the activation button that plays back your recording. So after you have re removed your top, you can turn this thing upside down. Give it a couple taps. And this little ring's going to pop out. And all that is is basically a spacer that sits above the speaker that allows the circuit board and every and the batteries to set high enough to where you can still activate the button. So the batteries that came with my particular model are LR44s. I was unable to find the LR44 batteries. So a compatible battery to the LR44 this is the LR44 here. Compatible batteries to that are A76. Now they are just a, a millimeter or two shorter, not quite as tall, but they will work. So I've already replaced the batteries. And how did I replace the batteries? You've got two reclaiming, uh, retaining clips. You've got one here, and then you have a secondary on the back side and that repeats itself on each battery these two indentations apply pressure to the battery so once you get the larger battery out press these in a little bit further so they make good contact with a the thinner battery 
a word of warning. After I removed one of the batteries and I was installing one of the, ba the newer batteries, the old LR44 battery actually exploded and it scared the hell out of me. So I found the bottom cap. I don't know where the rest of the battery went. I looked all over. All I know is it hit me in the forehead. One piece hit me in the forehead. The other hit me in the arm and it went flying. So um, unfortunately, the part that's got the battery acid and stuff, I haven't found yet. So just be aware of that. What I recommend is once you get these old batteries out, stick them in a plastic bag or somewhere in case they do explode. Um, they're at least contained in the bag and then, um, then properly uh, dispose of them. All right, so let's get that battery out of the way. What you will also possibly find on yours is they had used a, a glue gun and they had applied hot glue around the edges of each battery to keep the bat keep the batteries from moving. So I simply just peeled those off. Those the glue will just kind of come off very easily with a pair of needle nose pliers or a small screwdriver like you would use for your eyeglasses. So I basically all I did was scrape the old glue off. I took my screwdriver, I bent these little tabs upwards, just like this. So then that would release my battery. So it's not like the battery just pops out. So once you get this pushed up out of the way, all the way, I'm not gonna do it, but once you get this pushed up all the way, push from the back side, push from the back side and push your battery out. Be very careful that you do not hit that button and erase your recording, okay? So again, I have replaced all three of my batteries with the, um, a76 energizers and it does exactly what it did before I replaced the battery which is like I said it does a little clicky noise and then the little red light flashes so let me, maybe if I turn the speaker maybe you can hear it better let me turn this around here click click so if yours is just the batteries great for you replace your batteries here Okay, um, note the orientation. The positive side is goes towards the back, so you see the surface of the positive side. The negative side goes down towards the circuit board. Okay, once you have your new batteries in there, make sure these are pushed in and to keep your battery nice and tight. Push your retainer clips back in to keep the battery situated. If you're super anal, take a hot glue gun. Put a couple spots of hot glue, which is not a bad idea, just like the factory does to keep your batteries from moving around. Now, I wish they would have told me this when I bought this bear. I asked them specifically, hey, what happens in a few years when this thing quits working? They said, no problem. You bring it back, we'll put new batteries in it, and it's good, as, good to go. It retains the memory. I have a, a suspicion that the recording is gone. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if it broke when my grandkids were playing with it. Um, I show no damage to the actual case of the voice recorder. Um, and they asked me, they said, well, if you have recorded it on your phone or another device, we can transfer the sound onto a new one. Well, they didn't tell me that when I bought that. Had they done that, I would have recorded us um, on my phone and kept it in a file. That way, if this went bad, I could just take the recording off a WAV file and re-record it onto a newer voice recorder. Unfortunately, I didn't do that because I wasn't told to do that. Um, of course, it was during the holidays. I was Christmas shopping. I was in a hurry. I had three grandkids with me, so it didn't even that didn't even cross my mind to actually make a secondary recording. They actually had me and my three grandsons go into their back storeroom because the store was so noisy and we were able to make a nice quiet recording in the back room. That would have been a perfect time for them to say, hey, Grandpa, you should record this on your phone in case this ever goes bad. Um, then you can have a, a backup recording. I said earlier I'm an AV technician. I should have known that. To do that, normally I probably would have, but again, my excuse is I was in a hurry um, with the holidays and I overlooked that step. So that's it. So assembly, to reassemble, you just put the speaker in first after you replaced your batteries. This little, I'm going to call this retaining collar. 
this retaining collar goes in on top of the speaker and as you see it's a C shape so the C part here allows you to put this on top of the battery without hitting all your cabling and wiring so you just slip it right into here just like such all right see if we can get that to focus back up come on okay so yeah i think you can see that retainer in there now all right so that so your chip or your um, circuit board slips right on top of that and again the entire process you have to be very careful not to hit this button or again like i said it's going to erase your recording This time it's probably not that big a deal because I have a feeling my recording's gone. So that just slips right back in there. Your right or your white activation button goes right on top. Like so. And then this little piece here slips right over your white button. And if you notice, the black button is right above this opening because that's how it is when they hand it to you at the store. So you can record it. And this just snaps back into place. Like such. So in the store, you hit this button you make, and you make your recording. And then after the recording is done, you're happy with it. They simply turn the plastic so now you can no longer cover or touch the button and you just put the this back down there now had this been working when I was done I would put a nice tape around here and seal this up properly but um, I sent off a second email to build a bear requesting information on when they plan on opening up the bear store because of COVID again they're closed indefinitely I don't know how long that's going to be um, and then hopefully we can get this unit repaired because I have no secondary recording and we will be screwed if not. So good luck to you. I hope this helped you with, you know, replacing the batteries. Um, it's pretty straightforward. If you have no technical ability whatsoever, I don't recommend you do this on your own because if you, if you're impatient, you can, uh, more than likely, um, create a break in the solder or damage the circuit board by pressing too hard against the batteries to get them to slide out. I took my time doing it, made sure I didn't flex the circuit board, make sure I didn't break any um, uh, of the, of the uh, solderings. There is a couple of capacitors in here that could be bad. Um, so I don't know. Build-A-Bear is going to have to decide what's going to happen, so or if anything. So hope that helps. Merry Christmas to you all. If you guys are having some issues, I'm sorry.